Hey everyone, what's up? It's Zuda Zuda. Um, I'm going to be bringing you a couple of recorded games today. Um, myself and 36 Drew are commenting these games, uh, played by H2O and Fluky, um, for the Last Man Standing tournament run by Hope Clan. Uh, I was asked to do this by Nanox and Odie, uh, a couple guys from the Hope tournament, a couple of the admins. Um, they asked Drew and I if we would take a quick run through the wrecks, uh, show you guys a little bit what's going on, try and uh, keep you up to speed what's going on, and uh, just uh, give a little commentary on what we see going on. Um, this is the first time I've seen these wrecks. Uh, Drew did it the first time through. He saw them as well. Uh, so hopefully we've got some good games going here. Uh, let's start off by taking a look at Fluky's Town Center. Uh, he's doing a very standard build. Um, he's going with the early market. Uh, you can see he's gathered just 50 of his coin there. Uh, he's going to throw up that market, get hunting dogs. Uh, you can also see he's got these three villagers on wood. Um, that's just so he can quick check and make sure that he gets up his house uh, to go with that market so he doesn't get popped. Um, as we take a look around here over at Ryan's uh, TC, Ryan of course being H2O, uh, Ryan is also playing French. It's a French mirror. Um, from what I've heard, all of these games are mirrors, this game being played on Pompous. Um, taking a look around, Fluky taking a couple of llamas on the map. You can see there's quite a few llamas uh, by these white dots. We got the fog of war off to um, go with this game. Um, Ryan already taking in one of these llamas. Uh, in the games that I've played with Ryan, I've noticed uh, he, he plays really well, uh, both of these players do, but one of the things he does really well is he knows the maps really well and uh, it seems like whenever I play them, whether it be Mongolia, uh, Pampas, this map, uh, anytime there's sheep, herdables, it seems like he always gets a large portion of the uh, large portion of the herdables. Uh, although Fluky's already picked up four as well. Um, so in this mirror, you can see we've got Fluky, who's popped out the three Vil shipment, the standard shipment, as I would expect. Ryan either already has or will be doing soon. Um, both have got their early market up. Both have gotten hunting dogs. Both scouting around for some of the treasures. Um, Ryan picking up one of the better treasures on this map, uh, the 90 food treasure, as Fluky finds a 40 food treasure uh, a little up further up top. A uh, little bit about this matchup. It's it's a pretty interesting matchup, if you ask me. Um, I, I personally like French mirrors. Um, I don't like to play them because I'm not very good with French, but they're, uh, they're interesting to watch. And... Um, I, I would expect that we would see both players go with a Husser start, pretty standard, um, picking up their extra coin crate there. Uh, also chopping a little bit of wood, getting placer mines. As you can see, we're on Ryan's uh, Ryan's point of view. He's grabbing placer mines. We'll switch over to Fluky's view. I would guess that he's gathering up to 75 wood as well. He'll click that up here pretty quick. Um, also see he's getting great coat. Uh, keep his vills from the raids that are sure to come. Uh, both players will go with their their early Husser starts, um, and I would guess they would semi-FF uh, in this matchup. It doesn't really seem like too much of a point in sticking around in, um, sticking around in Colonial too long. Um, just enough to try and just try, enough to try and harass the enemy, uh, knock a couple of his vills, and then get up and onto bigger and better things in H3. Uh, so both players up now, very close in the same time, uh, both going with the 14 Ville up. And you can see here Ryan's actually going with a more uh, more interesting strat. He's actually starting out with the barracks, as is Fluky. Um, they're both starting out with the barracks strat. Um, it's good. You can usually get out four, four, four or five Hussars and a couple Musks. Um, makes for some good pressure. I would still look for both players to try and probably get up pretty early. Um, as I said before, I, I personally think that m most m most of the time French Wars are won in the Fortress Age. Uh, so you can see Fluky here with his early musks um, kicking around on the scout a little bit. Uh, Ryan's getting his musketeers going. You can see he gets out four and he gets out five. Uh, very good. I would expect Fluky to get out similar numbers. Uh, indeed, he's got out four and four it looks like. So Ryan up one musket right now. Uh, not too big of a deal with the way the French Vils are. Um, it's it's awfully hard to push. You need you need a little bit of mass, or you need to um, or you need to age up for stronger units because you uh, you just you just can't do a lot with with just a few units against French. 
So it looks like both players are going to indeed opt for a little bit of colonial play. Um, you can see Ryan is shipping the 8 Expo card. Fluky's not quite up to his next card yet. We'll see what he uh, what he decides to do, whether or not he goes something like Cav Attack, which is crucial in these Cav battles, uh, or if he indeed goes with the 8 Expo, similar to how Ryan did. Um, he's going to opt for military. He's going to opt for the 3 Husser shipment. Um, it's interesting. You know, I, I think maybe 8 Expos is better in this situation. Uh, round out the, the three piece of your army a little bit better um, as Ryan has done quite well in this first fight pushing uh, pushing Fluky back a little bit um, you can take a look at the scores up in the upper right hand corner you can see Ryan's up by about 10 um, not huge but it's for, for this point in the game I, w I would consider it to be a pretty good size advantage um, as Ryan now has his Expos creeping up in there as well, hitting on his muskets. And you can see some of these Vills here aiding in the fight um, with with the way that the Vills fight for France, especially with those market ups, uh, makes it very, very, very difficult to push France early on. Uh, you can see Fluky now as well, shipping the 8 Expo card. Um, not quite sure what H2O sent. Ah, he sent, he sent rather, uh, coin crates, which which would indicate to me that he's probably looking to go up in age. Uh, taking a little look at the current map set, this map is known to be one of the more aggressive maps. Um, it's the, the hunts are generally moderately poor. Um, you've got some of these ray all, all around the map, um, smaller herds of these rays, and of course the berries, which um, are, off, are always found on this map as well. Um, you're, you're, you're forced to be a little more aggressive on this map just because of the way the map sets up with the smaller hunts. Um, there are a little few far between, um, as indeed Ryan will now, after this vill click up to age 3 with the exiled prince, meaning he's going to get there in a hurry. Um, and I would expect that we would see Fluky do the same, especially when he sees that Ryan's going up. Um, y you would almost think that... that the, the the game is won and lost in Fortress, basically, in French Wars. And Fluky's, um, at this point, he's got to make a decision. He's really he's really either got to push pretty hard or he's got to age up um, himself. And he doesn't really have enough units to push really hard. Um, he, he's got the 8 Expo coming, but uh, Ryan, you can see, he's got some Huss. Um, he'll be up early. He'll probably have a shipment ready to go when he's up. He already is up and he'll be shipping the eight scrims. Um, I'm watching these in fast mode because if you notice when I t toggle it down it seems to go seems to go quite slow. Um, it seems like for me sometimes some wrecks fly by, some wrecks creep by. I'm not quite sure why that is but um, that's the way it is nonetheless. You can see uh, H2O making skirmishers from his uh, barracks here and as well he's making gendarm or cursairs. Hopefully I'm saying that right. If someone's French and wants to correct me uh, go ahead, feel free to correct me. Um, I don't really pride myself on my pronunciation of the French language. Um, you can see here uh, Ryan trying to grab a little more map control, uh, stay on those hunts a little bit longer. Um, from when I've talked to Ryan, he's basically told me that games are essentially won and lost by who can stay on hunts longest, especially on an aggressive map like this. Uh, map control really is really really important. Um, you need to try and stay on those hunts just as long as you can uh, simply because they gather just so much faster especially with the techs. Um, you know for Japan obviously you have to be on berries for different reasons um, but you get the market tech so you get compensated a little bit um, and you can see now uh, Ryan's, Ryan's technological advantage is really paying off. Um, those Kurosairs and those skirmishers are just doing really 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 well in this situation. Um, and you can see, you know, it, it's, it kind of gives it away a little bit up to who's going to win uh, in uh, these games just because of uh, the little bar you'll be seeing in the bottom right. Um, but in, in this situation, this game is, I would say, pretty much over. Um, Ryan with the technological advantage, he's got 31 vills, uh, Fluky's 27. He's raided a little better, he's been a little more aggressive. Um, he's got more map control, he's staying on hunts. Um, He's, he's really giving those vills a hard time. You can see Fluky's going to lose quite a lot of vills here. Two or three, one, two, three vills go down. Um, and it's just going to be too little too late for Fluky. He's getting up as well. Uh, he's got the shipment ready, but um, 
it's, it's just not going to be enough. He's lost map control. Uh, he's got these vills out here in the middle of nowhere. Uh, he's he's losing the few units that he does have, and um, it, y you can you can tell that this game will be over pretty shortly, um, just because of the way the map is setting up and the way that um, the game has set itself up thus far. Uh, Ryan trying to go out for a little bit of hunt over here ran into some Fluky's vills, um, trying. You know, th this is the point in the game where where Ryan is probably feeling pretty good. He knows that he's got the game uh, under control pretty well. He's up in uh, he's up in vills by quite a lot. He's up by about 12 vills. Uh, he just knows that he has to maintain, keep up, uh, keep keep up his advantage, and don't do anything stupid to lose the advantage. Um, and and he should uh, easily hold on to the game for the win. Um, you can see. You can see him over here a little bit off on the side. Um, you know, he's he's got the tower. He's got the he's got the uh, he's got the got the units. He he re he really has this game pretty much in the bag. It'll just be about um, catching those dragoons with his skirm cursor army um, and putting the nail in the coffin at this point. Um, Fluky shipping a unit shipment there, shipping the eight skirm shipment. Um, It'll be good, but those 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 cursors are just going to be too much. Um, it's interesting to see the combos here. Um, players opting for a little bit different of combos. Ryan going for the Cav Skirm combo. Um, Fluky going more goon heavy. Um, I would say usually, you know, they're 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 six to one, half dozen the other. It really depends on um, how 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 the players micro, how um, how how the proportions of the units break up. Um, I personally find hand cav easier to micro. Um, with someone like these guys as micro, though, you know, it, it, it really isn't too big of a deal. And you can see now we're closing in on the end of this first recorded game that I am doing. I'll be bringing you two more recorded games, um, and Drew will be bringing you an additional three. Um, first of all, I'd like to say big props to Hope Clan for hosting this tournament. Uh, it's been a lot of fun to uh, participate in, uh, be around some of these great players. Um, had quite the opportunity to play some, to uh, to watch some interesting games as these players uh, practice for the tourneys on both Machi and ESO. Uh, it's been a great learning experience for me. Um, and we will just ride this game out. I would say the record game will end here pretty quickly as Ryan, you can see he's up in score by 40. Um, he he probably knows he's got the win by now. Uh, Fluky's Fluky's trying to do any little thing he can to try and maybe get himself some advantage, but um, he's out of food. He's he's going to be shortly out of coin. My guess would be yeah, the, that mine doesn't have much left. That mine doesn't have much left, um, and he's just not going to have enough to to make any kind of comeback. Um, although I have seen Fluky make some pretty crazy comebacks. Um, not to be as the two felt shipment there goes down, uh, more bills going down, and uh, this game is pretty well over. Um, so that is game one for me. I will be taking a short break, and I'll be back to you with my second game momentarily. <laughs>